So about an hour ago, I shot this nine point Massachusetts whitetail with my bow and we brought it home and I'm gonna demonstrate how to gut the animal with the Dextra Outdoors deer dressing pack. What we have is a gutting knife, we have a, a skinning knife, and we have a boning saw. So I'm gonna go through how to gut the animal so we can get the animal to cool properly. It's a little warm today, so we'll get them in refrigeration as soon as possible. This is uh, a little graphic, but it's the best way to demonstrate how these tools are used. So we have the Dexter set. Here is the, that's a skinning knife. We will also use that as a part of dressing the, the animal. Here is what we'll use to open the body cavity up and to get the guts out. So, and then the saw we can use later for when we are quartering out the deer and prepping the deer for packaging in the freezer. So with the end, I like to do this on the back of, of my truck for two reasons. One, I don't like dress, field dressing a deer in the woods. Um, where I hunt, we have a lot of coyotes. I don't want to attract the coyotes uh, more than I have to into the area. And additionally, I can keep it nice and clean. So I use a tote with no holes to collect the insides of the deer. And it seems to work out pretty well. With your hand, locate the bottom of the rib cage. It should be somewhere about in here. And with your knife, you want to make a small hole. And then step over the other side. A small hole, and you will see the white mesentery that holds the belly in place. You want to cut through that carefully. You don't want to pierce the intestines of the belly. You can see that white there. Now I've made my hole. I'm going to use the hook. It's sharpened the inside of the hook. We, call it the, we also call it the zipper. You hook at that and you just very slowly pull. What that does actually, if you, this is not sharp here, so it doesn't perforate the intestines of the belly of the deer. You just take it as far as you can down. Now we have a way to access the body cavity of the deer. If you want, you can bring it a little further up just to give you a little more room. But the ribs start right here, so it's about your limits of work. Now, with the, the back of the, the hook of the knife again, just slowly, just this little bit of muscle that lines the belly, you want to cut that. And you want to just very slowly pull. So now this is we're coming out of the out of the deer now is his stomach and his intestines. A little bit more here. And then cut that back. It wants to roll out of the animal. There's the edge of the ribs. into the animal now and try to roll out the intestines. Try to get the, the belly, the stomach and the intestines out of the animal so you don't foul the inside of the animal. carefully so you don't cut yourself. You reach up inside the animal and you start cutting away around the esophagus. This would be the diaphragm I'm working on now. You're just trying to separate out the top area of the stomach so you can have slide it all the way out of the deer. This is kind of a feel thing. Very slowly work it. If you're in the woods, you have two people, you can lay the deer on its back. It's a little bit easier, but when you're alone, it's kind of, one, just kind of a slow process of very carefully separating the insides of the deer without exposing 
the contents of the stomach. Chewing his head up. Almost done, I can feel inside here. You want to be careful, obviously, not to cut the tendon lines either. diaphragm. So we have the liver out of the gear. We now have the contents of the belly coming. More cuts here. Voila. Out. So now we have gutted the deer. There's a little bit more to do. To finish getting the entire digestive system out of the deer, you have to get around the anus and the remainder of the intestine. There's very little left in this deer. Come over here, Alex. What you do is you take a small knife. I'm going to use the skinning knife. And you just try to very carefully bring around the outside. It looks like this. Yes. You have cut it free from the interior of the hips of the bones. A lot of people do it a lot of different ways. I find this, like you said, when you're alone. The easiest way to do it. If you have a friend, they can hold the deer legs apart. It's a lot easier. Okay, so now pretty much separated the entire remainder of the last part of his intestines. Ways to take it. You can reach in. What I'm going to do. There's very little left. Reach in. So then you just, once you've separated the last half of the intestine, you just pull it out through the front of the deer, and your deer is now gutted. The heart and the lungs are still in the deer. A lot of people like to eat the heart and the lungs to remove the heart and lungs. Come back around here, Alex. Reach up inside. And you just you're gonna cut and you're gonna feel around until you feel the esophagus. And you can cut away heart and lungs at the esophagus. You gotta be careful of this now. It's kind of all by feel. Here it comes. That was one of the lungs. Here's, actually, there's a blood clot. So here are the lungs. And here's the heart. The heart is very good to eat. So before I go dropping it in there, the liver is as well. A lot of people eat the liver. So I'm going to take the heart and separate it out from the lungs using the bony knife. I mean the skinning knife. And then plastic bag and. The heart is actually really very good to eat. Really delicious. My daughter loves it. She's shaking her head, but she's actually had it before. So that's it. Now it's just a matter of hanging the deer. This one we're going to actually, we're going to give it a good cleaning. We're going to hang it, and then we're going to get it over to the butcher. So thank you. Have a good day.